Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Leo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement that may resonate with you. There may be messages that will also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will be linked and listed. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Leo, we are jumping right in. Very quiet today. Two of Wands is your first card out. All right. What else do we have for Leo, please? Seeing what trouble you can get yourself into in it. Two of Wands is an energy of sort of new contracts, new partnerships, seeing what the world has to offer us, right? We also have the King of Wands energy. Lots of fire so far. Could have that in your chart or be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sad specifically. We have Major Arcana, the World card. Fixed sign energy, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio could be important. What else do we have for Scorpio and Leo, please? Taurus energy, the Hierophant. Definitely a new contract coming in for some of you. Um, Major Arcana, the World card for Scorpio. One more card for Leo, please. Suddenly. I feel like some, so, suddenly someone's going to sort of take some sort of action to offer you something here. Three of Swords is your last card out. Leaving behind any sort of heartbreak, leaving behind any sort of pain. We have the Moon card, Pisces Energy Major are kind of at the bottom of the deck. Some sort of fear, maybe. Fear, illusions, or something you don't see coming, okay? It's more like... Um, <clears throat> Some sort of karmic balancing here that's about to happen for you that you probably don't see coming. The moon is things that we don't see. The hidden side also could be fears. You know, um, also very strong feelings because the moon does rule our emotions. There could be some somebody that has some sort of very strong feeling towards you um, that you're not aware of. <clears throat> now, this could go both ways. It could be a positive feeling. It could be a negative feeling. Because I do see this Three of Swords and Tower card here. So someone could have negative feelings towards you that you didn't even know this person had negative feelings for you. I just heard secret animosity. That's for some of you. But uh, for another group of you, there is someone that has some sort of secret feelings here towards you. Maybe you have been going through a sort of rough period. This could also be someone that you already have some sort of interaction here with, with the Three of Swords. That usually represents pain, heartbreak, uh, you know, emotional loss. With the two of wands, that is looking out to see what your options are. You know, it could also be some sort of choose. Maybe you're choosing an option out of the options. You're you're embarking on some sort of new contract with a person, place, or thing. And there's heavy contract or commitment energy with the um, Taurus card of Hierophant directly beneath that. Also a five card. So there is something that's about to change that you are probably not seeing just yet. I do believe it has to do with someone regarding feelings whether negative or positive it will be different for all of you some either someone either has negative feelings towards you and you're not aware of or someone has um, a lot of a positive emotion towards you that you are not aware of but some sort of contracting here with the hierophant and the two of wands the king of wands that is taking action somebody that wants to take action someone that is probably um, taking action to let feelings be known <clears throat> The Justice card could be some sort of karmic energy for this person or you. Maybe this pain that is here in this present moment. Well, not present moment, it is coming out in the future. But I do think that is what you're sort of leaving behind. You could be leaving behind something or someone could be leaving behind something in order to sort of establish a new sort of contract here. So whether it's a job, whether it's a person, a relationship, a house... It's like something else has to be left behind. And although it might be a hard decision to make or something that is not ideal of a decision to make, it has to be made because there's a new cycle that wants to come in here heavy. With the world card, you also have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five major arcana here. So this is big and this is also something you don't have control over. Yeah, it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with that is getting out of something else that has been very painful in order to forge this new contract connection with you. Mm -hmm. The vibe that I'm getting also could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, Pisces, as I said, or Cancer. But I do get someone is ending something here. Something is suddenly ending. A foundation that was maybe deemed as stable, deemed as solid, not so solid. 
not so solid. It is coming to an end. I do believe whatever, wherever this person was committed before, if this is you, it's no longer bringing you happiness. It's no longer bringing you happiness. It's a source of uh, pain now. So it is being left behind and it, something else is being pursued probably right after. Probably right after. Kind of giving the vibe of leaving one thing for the other. All right. What is the guidance for Leo? What is the guidance for Leo? But there is some sort of uh, someone could also be dealing be dealing with legal matters with that justice card. But I do get there's a heavy karmic energy wrapped up in the situation. Someone could also be wrapping up some sort of karmic cycle, karmic um, <clears throat> time period. I also see the five of swords. Five is another energy of change. You have two fives here now. Um, <clears throat> The Five of Swords is an, I am getting, I mean, it could be manipulation and all that kind of stuff, but I am kind of getting it's a guaranteed win because generally that's what it means. It means that um, either way, you whatever you choose, you're going to be benefiting. So whether you choose to go with this or not, or, you know, which either way you go, there will be benefit to it, whatever decision you make. We have your peacock spirit, let it shine. Definitely someone is letting their heart space be known. Someone is about to express emotion here. That is tying back to the moon card. Someone is um, bringing light to this, this emotion that they have. It also could be, but I, I am getting for a lot of you, it's both stories. Someone is leaving something behind. You're leaving something behind, work, relationship, house, in order to pursue another. And it's going to come to light here. There is going to be an illumination here. Maybe someone hasn't expressed feelings because they want to make sure that whatever that other situation is, is done. Could be you haven't told your employer yet because you wanted to secure the other situation. We also have co-create with spirit, crow spirit. So someone is being led. <clears throat> someone is being led by divine. They're being nudged. They're being pushed. Yeah, it's unavoidable. That's also tower energy energy of unavoid unavoidable and all this major arcana speaks to it not being avoidable it's not something you have control over and we also have canary spirit sing your own song two cards of emotional expression or expressing being um speaking one's truth letting it be known voicing some sort of um, emotion and lots of bird energy too. So birds could be significant to you. But bird is also usually a messenger of spirit, messenger of the divine. So someone is being pushed. I feel like they feel like they don't have a choice. They kind of have to let this go because they are very much being pulled towards something new. Guidance for Leo, please. The moon could also be fear. So someone could have been afraid to hurt somebody with the three of swords. Someone could have been stalling because they didn't want to hurt anyone. But it's like, it's uh, it's inevitable. Communication is key. Full new moon in Gemini. We are still in Gemini season. So before the end of Gemini season, this could be happening. A win-win outcome is forecast. I told you, this five of swords is telling me no matter what happens, no matter which way the story goes, you are going to benefit. You are going to benefit. And it's this is not something um, someone has decided lightly. They've spent a lot of time and, uh, I, you know, spent a lot of time in isolation, deliberating what, how to go about this. It could be someone you're currently not hearing from. Excuse my voice, guys. It's clearly tired. What guidance do we have for Leo? But what's in the dark will come to light. What's in the dark will definitely come tonight to light. To light. Seems like before the end of um, what you call it season, we're all just imposters. Own it. We're all just imposters. Own it. So there is a sense of like um, pretending. That could be that moon energy. It's like what what is being observed is not at all what it is, or what all what at all what it seems. And I think someone is getting ready to own that they have been sort of pretending. They're no longer willing to pretend. Because it's like either way, it's causing pain. So they might as well just be truthful and go where their heart is being led to. So 
that is a sense of authenticity as well coming in. We're all, we're all just imposters. Because even if you can admit that you're an imposter, that is a sense of authenticity. Right? So, what do we have for Leo, please? Could also be dealing with a Gemini. Each... The age of light, you have been training for this for lifetimes. So this tells me that this is absolutely, this, this has definitely been something that someone has been um, kind of working their courage up to do. As I said, I do get there's been a lot of time and effort trying to be put in into strategy, making sure that all parties kind of get a fair outcome, also represented by that Lib Libra energy. But this has been a long time coming. This has been a long time coming for someone here, Leo. All right, that is your reading. Really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.